To make the eyes, I'm going to go back into front view and I'm going to hide the head and I'm going to add mesh UV sphere. I'm going to move that up, G to grab, Z for Z direction. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select an edge from the middle of the sphere. B for B select and drag out most of the sphere. Delete vertices and I'm going to press A and G and Z and drag what's left of the sphere down to the old midpoint. Now I'm going back into object mode and I'm going to rotate, R to rotate about the X axis and I'm going to type in 90 and press enter. Uh, I'm now going to press S to scale and shrink that right down and G to grab and move it over the eye and pan and zoom in on that uh, into wireframe and G to grab and center it and S to scale and get that to there turning solid back on I'm going to turn off the background image and close this panel. I'm going to toggle it into quad view. I'm going to zoom out in the right view and using the 3D manipulator widget move the eye forward, turn the head, show the head again and then again move the eye back till it touches the head. I'm going to change the orientation of the 3D manipulator widget to local and zoom in on the eye. Now the Z arrow is pointing straight out the eye because if you remember the eye is the top of the sphere which was pointing straight upwards. Now there's only three things I have to adjust to place the eye the X and Y rotation and the Z location. So this is the Y rotation. If I rotate that and look at the top view I want to get the curvature of the eye roughly parallel to the curvature of the head. Next the X rotation is the red line and now I'm looking in the right view and I want the curvature of the eye to match the curvature of the head. Then I'm going to move the Z location. Now as the eye touches the head the rim of the eye should all touch at the same time need to do a little adjustment. X and Y again, so the green line is the Y, a little bit of fine adjustment, and the red line is the X, out there. Back to the Z location, and hopefully now that touches all at the same time, and just have it just slightly proud of the head about there. Shading to smooth, rename I underscore capital L for left, material, add a new material, we'll call it I, and the diffuse color will set to be black. Modifier, add subdivision surface modifier, set the views to 2. Shift and D and enter to duplicate. Change the name to underscore R for right and put a minus sign in front of the X location. We have to repeat the process for the other eye, although this time we need the left view. It's the same process of X and Y rotation and Z location. Fiddly though it is. 
so I've done some Y, I'm doing some X I'll do some Y again I'll try it with the Z now, Z location does it touch not perfect but not bad I'm going to toggle out of quad view and zoom back and pan now if I select the head G for grab and move it the eyes and the antennae don't follow control Z now I could select them all and join them which would be a very permanent solution the more undoable solution is to make the antennae and the eyes children of the head. To do this, if I select an eye, I can go to parent and choose head. The eye pops up because children inherit location, rotation and scale from the parent. To fix this, we need to select the head and we need the scale all to be 1, rotation all to be 0 and location all to be 0. To make the location all zero, go to Object, Apply, Location, and all the values go to zero. We can now select the eye and make the head the parent, and the other eye, and the antennae. I'm going to go to the Select menu and select all by type mesh and that will select all the parts of the Android and then going to go to the object menu transform origin to geometry and that will put the center of rotation the center of scaling into the middle of each of the parts with all the parts selected I'm going to go to the object menu and apply rotation and scale and I'm going to select the body and go to apply location that's the end of the tutorial. You might have expected me to make the parts of the Android children of the body, but I'm going to add an armature, a skeleton, and make all the parts of the Android children of that, but that's for another tutorial. I'll put the finished file at my website, freemovies.co.uk, at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching.